So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. No one on my ship thinks that way. We're a team. Oh, I, I was uh, talking about my discomfort with your living arrangements, not about any uh, pre prejudice I harbor. I'm an alien. We are all strangers. I... Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. None of the equipment in here would produce extra mass readings. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. 
best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True. They can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. So, what else is new? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in a sorry space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A Huntress's work is never done. Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful species in the galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue Ardot Yakshi, people demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. We needed to start over somewhere new together. Or as together as we could. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. As sorry, Huntresses, figure things out, but... I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? How's the search for the Asari Ark going? The Lucinia? Checking every comm that's coming in. Nothing concrete yet. After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. After that, 
I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? A certain independence might be helpful, yeah. Exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. And Jal. That book hasn't even been written yet, has it? Exciting. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? Oh, is it my turn to talk? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Core included. Really good advice. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in Asari. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. What drew you to the Remnant? Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I match wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Pathfinder, making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the Nomad when you're out there. I'll take my chances. Just wanna see how things are going with the ship. That little stunt into the Scourge tested a few of my improvements. Happy to say, they held up. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the Initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kinda of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops. I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Then the question will be, what will I do with it? <laughs> in the meantime, you just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. All the mass readings in here are normal. Of course they are. Something up. I hope not. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Are you sure you can keep the Scourge damage under control? Never seen anything like the Scourge. What it does to our tech. It's keeping me on my toes, but that's when I do my best work. In a way, I guess I'm grateful. Well, you're welcome. Don't do me any favors. <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. You're in good hands. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. How tough was it on the Nexus all those months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? 
Hasn't everyone? Well, then you know. It's super tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation. Imagining which would be worse. But hey, you could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, veteran Suvia, my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. PB's a real spark plug. I like her, but she's exhausting. And Drax's my kind of guy. Brash. Takes no shit. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. By the book keeps us alive. Hey, variety's the spice of life, right? Different strokes makes for healthy debate. What about Kalo? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. We need people with skills. And it sounds like you've got many. Welcome aboard. Yep. Making deals to get the things you want, shooting at the things you don't. That's me. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. It would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. Just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange.
That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. Have anyone else here with you, besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh, you mean like... Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Like you said, who has time? Eventually things will settle down a bit. Hopefully. Or we'll be dead. Oh, anyway. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? The thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. Now if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. A crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST one, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. When I started with the Alliance, it was about adventure. But with my dad's troubles, staying wasn't going to work. I needed something new. But if I wanted to get away, it had to be this far. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning, still do. I have to, we're in it. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in crisis response, remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. One hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? 
I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. I knew it. I'm glad for it every day. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel. Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That... Might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical. On a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. Pathfinder, you have new email. How long does it take to learn piloting? Depends how you apply yourself. With your mind, you'd be adept in a few weeks. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Six hundred years later, the power's run out. Suvi detects it. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Rika, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud. <laughs> 